Hello, my name is Lucy Bamford. I'm the Senior Curator of Art for Derby Museums and I'm standing in the Joseph Wright Gallery here at the Museum and Art Gallery. It's home to the world's largest collection of work by Joseph Wright of Derby, the 18th century painter. At the centre of this painting are three blacksmiths labouring over a bar of iron and we can see it right at the centre on the anvil, glowing brightly. And they're working at night in an improvised workshop at perhaps a tumble-down old church. We can see some angels above the archway entrance into this workshop. Holes in the roof suggests that it's, uh, it's not as good as perhaps it once was. On the right of the scene, a group of people. One girl shields herself and her companions from the sparks that are flying from the ingot at the centre as the blacksmiths beat it into shape. And on the very far right, the older figure of a gentleman who sits leaning on an upturned hammer, perhaps he's a retired blacksmith, and he's contemplating quietly in the corner the scene that's happening in front of him. On the far left, just glimpsed outside of the doorway, we see a group of people surrounding a horse, and it's lit very subtly by the light of the moon, which we can also see lighting the clouds up on the far top right-hand corner. Now, Wright helpfully left us a few clues about this subject in a small description which he included in his account book, and he called this Subjects for Night Pieces. And it seems that an accident has happened in the dead of night. Some travellers have been journeying on their horse and they've been waylaid when the horse lost its shoe. It means that they've had to seek out the services of a blacksmith, a sort of emergency auto repair man of the 18th century. So the work that the blacksmiths are possibly labouring over here is in the formation of a horseshoe from the glowing bar of iron that we see at the centre. We notice too that there's lots of debris on the floor, horseshoes scattered around, scraps of metal, nails, but also there are horseshoes hanging on the wall behind them as well. In fact, we know of one blacksmith's shop which was run out of a ruined old church in Little Eaton near Derby. So perhaps that's where Wright got his inspiration. But there's another possibility too, which might suggest that Wright was using a bit of creative license here by referencing the grand style and lighting of an old master painting, Wright elevates his blacksmith to a heroic status, it seems. Maybe there's an interesting contextual angle that we haven't fully investigated yet about this painting. For all its religious iconography, the hint of a nativity scene at the centre there, the ruined old church architecture, and even the moon there shining through from the heavens, in placing the birth of a material at the centre of this grand scene, is right acting out a form of iconoclasm within this hallowed church space? Is he cocking a snook at the church? Maybe that's just one interpretation.